Hey, it's me, JV, and welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Let's Play Elden Ring. Has anybody heard of this game? I feel like it's so good, but at the same time, nobody ever talks about it. It, it needs a little bit of hype, I think. It's just not there. It's so sad. Uh, we gotta go grab our uh, runes. Uh, I'm obsessed with using correct terminology. So even though everybody's and their mother is calling this probably souls, including myself, uh, we'll be calling them runes because that runes. Uh, in the bottom right, we have 607. I'm going to give this guy one last shot. Remember, liking the video, leaving comments on the video. Oh, yep. And subscribing with the bell turned on all helps out this series to grow. Yep. Uh, this is the tree sentinel. God, who is the first boss that you see, the real first real boss, I would say. Uh, we're going to use soul city here, of course. Now, I do think we're doing this a little early. But with the power of magic, we might be able to do it. That's the power of magic, baby. Woo! And if we time our rolls as well, it's his shield is not... Whoop! His shield is not... Did that really hit that pole? Whoop! His shield is not doing much. All right, focus up now. Oh, he's got some magic shield. Whoop! No, you don't. Oh, wow! I was like, is that going to bounce that back? That is so cool. That is so cool. Is he gonna keep? Okay, that is neat. I didn't even know he did that because I have not used my. Oh, okay. <laughs> look at you! Yeah, but if we time it though, you don't know what to do, do you? All right, we're gonna use a uh, cerulean tears flask, which I have not used ever. Whoop! If we kill this guy, I'm gonna be so happy. Okay, that went super wide. Oh god. Uh, should we do arc? Cause it's kind of hard. Maybe we wait for him to attack, like that, and then do arc. Oh, come on! Yes! No! You don't get to. You don't get to snap that out at the last possible second. You have to tell me, the player, that you're going to do that. You have to have some sort of indicator that you're about to do that. You don't just get to go... Vee! I wonder if he says anything if you die to the tree sentinel. Hello? It's time you set Yeah, and it's time. time. Yes, I, I agree. It is time. It is time that I said. All right, we're going to give this guy one last shot. Uh, this is difficult. There is a thing that you unlock that will make this far, far easier. Uh, I'm going to try to bait out his attacks, I think, and then hit him with the glintstone arm. Okay, like so. Oh, I hit L1. No! Oh, I need my... Okay, get my souls first. Yeah, 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 yeah. Whoop! All right. Play this tactically. We're going to heal. Now we're going to lock on. Glintstone Ark! It does nothing. We don't want to do that. We want to do Glintstone Pebble. I am mistiming my... I am mispressing my buttons. All right. So Glintstone Pebble is the more efficient option here. Whoop! So we wait for him to attack, because if he doesn't attack first, he's going to use that shield, which is going to F the over bad. I do love that he has that, though. Nice attack, fell beast. Taste my glintstone, fiend. I have the power, the, the power of sorcery, and I'm so scared of your shield. I'll be honest. You have a shield, beast, that repels my magical attacks and sends them right back to me. And I... I tip my hat to you, sir, for that, as it causes me to adjust my strategies. However, a true mage knows how to adapt on the fly. Whoop! We're going to, Okay, now we're going to use our Cerulean Tears. Whoop! Okay, go back to our heal. Whoop! Okay. Yeah, got to watch out for that shield, especially how fast that can come out. But if we do it every time he attacks us, we're going to have to switch to our sword once we've used our magic as well. Whoop! Whoop! Okay. This is so much easier after playing the game. My God. Yup. Okay. Yeah, I'm a roll boy, by the way. Whoa! That's an attack we have not seen. Yo! Okay, gotta remember. Gotta also be very aware of our spacing. And make sure we don't get stuck on any rocks here. Taste my glintstone! I've worked for years to master these sorceries, fell beast. Oh, you can't... That's sheep. I will say that that is sheep as hell. The fact that he can just pull that out like in a... Like that, that is ridiculous. I feel like he definitely needs to have some sort of tell. Now I'm like hyper scared of him doing that at the last possible second here. Oh, that went wide. Okay. So now we're out of that. We're going to two-hand the sword. Now we got to choose our times very carefully. Man... We can definitely do this if we die here. We just need to get another 
We need to get another... Cerulean... Oh, Cerulean... Flask. Okay. My cats are choosing this time to start biting each other in their beds to my right. They always choose the perfect time. Oh! They always choose the perfect time to start biting each other. It's, it's, it's exclusively when I am fighting a boss. Okay, focus up. Man, all I need is one more. Dang it. The short sword is indeed short. Okay. How? In what world did that hit me? In what world? All right, so now I'm just going to fight with Reckless Abandon because I'm pretty sure we're going to lose. Yeah, that is ridiculously wide as a hitbox. That does not make much sense. Okay, we're going to give... I know we're spending a lot of time on this one particular thing, but if I adjust, if I adjust my... Fl oh, and we have the Golden Seed, too. Duh. Yeah, we could definitely do this. This is totally doable. We just need one more magic allotment for our flask. So we go to flasks, we go to add charge to flask, we use one golden seed, which is what we started with, to increase the number of uses, which there we have. Uh, we don't, we didn't get another one, right? Not enough. Increase amount, replenished, we need a different item for that. Allocate flask charges. So this is just like Dark Souls 2, where basically you have FP, which is your magic bar, and then you have, you know, uh, health flasks. Uh, and the other one it was ashen flask and whatever else. So we're gonna do two magic and then three healing. Uh, which I'm not used to doing. I'm used to all going only healing, which is bizarre for me, because I don't typically play mage stuff. And then, yes, all right, last try. We've definitely got this. We just have to keep in mind of our spacing. Uh, also, there is a, like, a, a stealth mechanic. Apparently, if you walk up and you press R1, you deal extra bonus damage. So, like that. Yeah, it did a little sneak thing. All right, so we'll get that free hit. And now, you remember me, fell horseman? Okay. Enough with the jokes, more with the landing our hits. No! That is silly. That is silly. And now, I don't really know. I will say this about the bosses in this game. There are a couple of bosses that I feel like... Le There are a couple of bosses that I feel like flat out have so a little bit of cheap stuff. Now, with a, with a game this ambitious, with this many bosses and this many different, like, this many different moves and things, it's going to happen. Of course, you're going to find a boss that you don't exactly agree with with its, with its moveset. But this guy's shield and another guy that's in this continent, which I'm sure we'll talk about heftily. What's up? All right, all right. Oh, no. Okay, all right. Focus up. Uh, yo. Yeah, his, atta yeah, his attacks are easily enough avoided. But that shield man, which was not a problem in my first playthrough because we didn't use magic at all. He used that shield, but I was like, I don't even know what that does, you fat beast. Okay. Oh, yeah. Did I literally just sit there and take that? Oh, no. We're here at eight minutes and we're, oh, uh, okay. We're going to try it. We're going to give it one last college effort and then I'm going to focus and do it. Unfortunately, Souls is a tricky game to record for, too. Because if you get stopped on something like this, if you get walled on something like this, and if you have, uh, 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 uh if you have, uh, uh, what's the word? I keep forgetting this one word. Uh, if you have things to do, places to be. Okay, enough. All right, so we land our Glintstone Pebble. We dodge his attacks easily. No, 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 no. When he does that, I'm so scared he's going to do the Whoa, okay, big thrust. No, you! Okay, as long as we dodge immediately, though. Yeah! Oh, now we're getting the timing down. Whoa! Ambitious, my friend. Okay, so we just have to be ready to roll every time we launch a magical attack, basically. Okay. Whoop. Okay. Whoop. Oh. He follows that up. I remember. Glintstone Pebble! Okay. Wait for it. Yup. Okay. Perfect time for us to land a shot there. It seems like sometimes we're... Oh, no. I was going to say, that was, an, that was an ambitious... No! Oh! Okay. All right, we're going to heal our magic. We're going to go back to heals. We got a full magic bar. Okay, please don't block me. Oh, man, we're getting some bad... We're getting some bad... Nice. All right, just got to choose our timings. He does that, and then he follows it up, right? Typically, we want to keep this guy in a tight circle. Oh, those going wider, but not good. Okay, hi -ya. And taste my magic! 
taste my glintstone sorcery. I have studied for ages under a rock. I found a rather large rock in the wilds. I crawled underneath said rock, and I read books. While you were out working on your muscles, like the hunk that you are, the shining, golden, beautiful hunk, I was studying sorceries. Is it the most popular thing? No. Does it attract maidens? Perhaps not. But does it make me feel a little bit better about myself? Oh, I got stuck on the rock. Yeah, that's what's... Okay. That is what's going to bite us in the butt when we get stuck on a rock. No! Okay. You need to heal my magic again. We wait for an attack. Heal magic. Okay. Yep, this rock is trying its best to be like, Ah, you're doing well. Well, let me introduce you to uh, terrain. Oh, wow. That was... Time to stop talking now, I would say. Yeah, I need to get away from this cropping of... Oh! I... Okay, I rolled that, but all right. Yeah, this rock right here to my left, like, I need to leave this rock. It is perpetually around me. Okay. Nice. Yeah, how am I in rock town now? Where, where was I when there was no rocks previously? Why am I in Rockville? No! Oh! Okay, we're gonna heal, because that's a very long animation. All right. Nice. Okay. Just, you have to basically... Oh, that one's risky. Oh, okay, we have no heals either. Time it for when he's removing the shield. When he does the charge, we can always land a hit. Okay. Nice. I should not have cast that. Yeah. Oh, wow, that landed, though. Okay. I think we have maybe one more. Do we have one more? Can I cast this? No. All right, so we got to switch to this. Switch to this, please. Okay, two-handed. All right. All right, now this is scary. This is a scary part because it's hard to get in on him when he does the charges and stuff. Oh, nice. No, 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 no. Yeah, this guy's hitboxes on some of his, like, shockwave attacks are a little ridiculous, I would say. Like, I rolled that, IMO. I know that, I know you always hear that sort of thing. I rolled that. That was but still, I feel like I rolled it. All right, and we got to choose one to go in. No! No! Oh, my gosh. Oh, man, oh, man. Classic GD getting stuck on something and not, like, giving up on it when I should honestly just do other stuff. Okay, I'm going to give this a dedicated shot. I know I can do this. Uh, and I will see you in a second where hopefully we have done it or are close to doing it. Okay, I feel confident about this one, and also I just realized you can literally spam cast this like that, which is what it meant by you can uh, use them, uh, you know, repeatedly or whatever. Oh, yeah. Yes. Okay. Focus up. What tends to happen with me in Souls games is, um, nope. Yep, he didn't bring that shield out, and I was like, when's that happening? Okay. What tends to happen? No. Did I literally just... Literally just sit there and like, kill me please, ha ha ha, thank you. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's do this. I just have to be careful. I just have to be careful. That's a little bit too quick of an animation to be able to capitalize, roll and cast. The shield is what's the scary thing. I can cast this, because I'm far enough. Okay, we got one more cast, man. I missed too many. We can do this with the flasks that we have, but I missed too many, and I'm also one hit from dying here. One more cast here. Can we cast again? Sometimes they let you if you're close enough. If you have a decent amount of mana. Can I cast it? Oh, I can. Nice. Okay. Now, I have to press right on the D-pad. I have to press X and then R1. And now I just have to choose my timing very, very carefully. We're one hit from death. Okay. Uh, that's kind of scary. I need to wait for him. I need to roll into things like that and hit him. Tell me how that killed me there. Tell me how that killed me there. That hitbox, I will say, is ridiculous, personally. Okay, I literally cannot waste any more time on this guy, so I will see you when this guy is dead. This is insanity. Okay, I'm beginning recording again because I am confident now. I am confident this will happen now. No, you sh You shielding, I... That shield, man, that shield. You can feel it, too. You can feel it when it's coming out. You can feel it when it's going to bust you up. 
I went into this recording saying, GB, you cannot do. There we go. We cannot, you cannot do 15 minutes on one boss. Uh -huh. One more. Get a little greedy there. Nice. Okay, we gotta heal up, I think. If he ever touches me, I'm dead. That's our last heal. We got one more magic heal. Roll. Cast. Now, if I'm just patient, I can kill him easily. Should not have cast that twice. Yep, should not have casted that twice. Now, you can time this, but it'll bring out the shield again sometimes. Yeah, the whiffs are what's killing me, too. The whiffs of the magic. Roll. Cast. Very nice. Okay. Roll backwards. Heal our magic. Good. Roll. Cast. What's, what's scary about this is he can still kill me in one hit with certain attacks. Nice. Roll. Wait for it. Be patient. Be methodical. Be thought out. Roll. Cast. That, it's like he can bring the shield out still, I think. Roll. Do not cast because I think he can bring out the shield way too quickly there. Roll. I'm going to cast here. Get ready for the shield. Yep. Wait for him to put, the, put away the shield. See, it's like it always comes down to the end and then I just... And then I just, like, get way too... How about we stop talking, GB? How about we stop talking and we focus up, GB? Okay. Use your magic castings correctly. That's all we have to do. There, he could have brought out the shield, I feel like. I'm not gonna go for that one. That rock. That freaking rock. It tried. What feels like happens when I play Souls games is that I get very close to killing something and and I'm gonna stop talking now. Okay, one more R1. We've got it. Please don't cast your shield. How many runes do we get for that in the bottom right? 3,200. That's nice. That is nice. New Golden Halberd. Oh my gosh, we have to emote after every time we do that, by the way. Let's do a jump for joy. <gasps> yeah! I, the people that watch me live on, uh... The people that watch me live on Twitch probably know this, if they've ever seen me for any period of time. There is almost never a boss that I kill where I have no health left, no resources left, and it comes down to the last hit, and I either... And I usually get hit and die. If you've watched me for any period of time on Twitch, you have seen that happen time after time and it's so fun it is so fun okay flasks uh i changed these to three but i'm gonna do it three and two actually let's do four and one i feel like we only need one i i, I like the idea also does he change his stuff now that we've killed it's him time you set it is time safe. i've set up and then also every time we kill a boss let's do a review too so the only boss we fought so far that first original one's not even a boss. That guy reappears. I don't like when they do that. If you're going to give me a tutorial boss, or if you're going to give me like a, you know, like a, oh, the game just started. Here's your first boss type of boss. Let's make it like a real boss, not a reused enemy, because that guy comes up later as a normal enemy. Um, but then that little warrior guy, uh, the little knight guy, uh, one out of ten for bosses. He's just literally a dude that you'll fight later a hundred times. Uh, that's not really a boss, I, I think. This guy, Tree Sentinel. Uh, interesting boss. Six out of ten, I feel like. Feels like he's got a lot of, uh, you know, big halberd moves and horse moves, and those moves are reused later in the game as well with other enemies. Uh, that is... It, this game is weird. That boss there is not, like, a true boss. There's, like, tiers of bosses. You have, like, the ultimate, like, cutscene guys. Then you have kind of, like, the really good bosses out under that. And then you have kind of, like, these guys. And then you have kind of, like, the little mini bosses, like the cave soldier guy. So this guy falls into kind of the third category a bit, uh, but I like him. Six out of ten, that's a good thing, because the, there's some really good bosses in this game. Uh, now we have Santa. Hello. You're a tarnished. I can see it. I am indeed. But I can also see that you're not after my throat. Then why not purchase a little something? I am Carly, purveyor of fine goods. So we have Carly, and then before was Vade. Uh, we're gonna get all the information, folks, because I like getting all the little NPC lore about Kale. I am of a nomadic people, selling wares as I travel. The land has been tainted by madness since the shattering of the Elden Ring. It's only tarnished like yourself, who keep things from drying up entirely. Let's say you're a very welcome customer. I'll do my best to be the best customer ever. Uh, what, Kale, while, whilst browsing your wares, what would be your recommendation, my good sir? You know, 
If you can spare the rooms, you should buy yourself a crafting kit. A crafting kit allows you to make basic items on your own. Essential, really, if you intend to survive out here for any duration. The kit costs a bundle, and I admit I do take my cut. But the important thing is that you survive. Every custom counts, after all. Not entirely sure what is... I mean, not entirely sure how essential it actually is, because honestly, in my Twitch playthrough, I have not crafted, like, anything. Because you need recipes specifically, so that'll probably be a change that we do for this playthrough. Uh, so, I, yeah, I exhaust all their dialogue all the time. You should buy yourself a craft so, yeah. Essential. So, if you're on PS5 and you don't want to skip dialogue, which is uh, the only bug I've come across, hold X. I'm not sure if I mentioned that, but when you're talking to people, hold X. It doesn't work if you're in, like, the... if you're not in a menu... Because then you'll bring up your pouch items, which I'll explain later. But yeah, so if you want to hit recommendation, if you don't want him to skip his dialogue, hold X on the first one. Because it only skips that first line of dialogue. It's weird. Uh, although this game was updated, so maybe it fixed that. Yeah, actually, let's try to see if that was fixed, maybe. Okay, so this is a merchant, and he's got a whole bunch of stuff to sell. Uh, and we're going to take a look at what we want to get here. The throwing daggers are consumables. We'll find those in the world. The telescope allows viewer to see far away things. I think I will buy everything that's unique. This is unique. And yeah, just your standard monocular, which is always a thing in uh, Souls board games. I don't ever use it, but I'd like it. Uh, these, I don't know what this is. Reveals co-op and hostile summoning signs. Oh, so you, you, okay. That I can explain later. Cracked pot we'll find in the world. Crafting kit for only 300 runes. You can see our rune total at the top left there. 3,307. So we'll buy that so we can craft. And yeah, these we need. This is, I didn't buy these in my Twitch playthrough, and I think that came to bite me in the butt. So, Nomadic Warrior's Cookbook, which gives us Bone Arrow, Bone Arrow Fletched, and Bone Bolt. Uh, and we, yeah, we can make those. And then we've got Glowstone, Invigorating Cured Meat, Invigorating White Cured Meat for the Nomadic's for the Nomadic Warriors Cookbook 2. So by that also, then we have the Missionaries Cookbook, which lets us make Holy Water Pot and Roped Holy Water Pot. So we'll also buy that. So yeah, probably not the best use of our runes. Uh, also, this note flask of wondrous physic, which I know what that is, and I know where to find that, and I'm assuming all this does is, like, give you a hint as to where to get it. And then waypoint ruins. I just want to get all the unique stuff, even if it's kind of a waste of our runes at the moment, because we could use that to obviously level up and stuff. But yeah. Uh, then we've got the chain set and a bunch of other miscellaneous armors and armaments. Thank you, Kale. I'm glad you took my warning to heart. You've made an excellent choice. You've made an excellent decision. Item crafting. Containers. I've known all this stuff. I can explain it myself. Okay, here we've got smithing stone. And this is a smithing block that lets us upgrade our weapons. But as it will say, there will be people in the world that can upgrade better than this. I don't even know why the smithing uh, block exists, honestly. Because, yeah, you find a better way to... You find a better way to... Um, to, to improve your stuff pretty early on, like to where that it makes that kind of useless. But okay, pastime flask, memorize spell, sort chest, and leave. So this is how you acquire spell and apply spells, uh, just like any other Souls game, basically. But currently we only have these two, so we'll stick with those. And yeah, we want to be grabbing everything, uh, just like Breath of the Wild. Okay, so now. We need to follow that, uh, yeah, forget what they call it, but like the, uh, the direction of that golden light. Uh, because we want to unlock something that will help us in our adventure. So I think we will follow the road whilst picking flowers and berries and all sorts of things. So, okay, so yeah, I don't know, yeah, I probably mentioned uh, stealth attacking, but basically you walk up and I think you hit R1 specifically and you'll do like a critical hit. It's not all that insane. It's not all that damaging. But uh, it's nice to get a little bit of bonus damage. And plus, this game is very open world compared to other Souls games, obviously. So, I, originally I was like, I don't really want to use stealth. It feels cheap. But then I was like, oh, yeah, okay. It just kind of speeds up the process. Now, let's hold an R2. Yeah, see, it does more every time. I'm not really sure what the point of... We got some Kukris there, which are like throwing... I think, I th I think still throwing knives, but a different version, I guess. Okay, we, yeah, so I don't know why you would ever, like, sneak crit when you can just charge in R2 and then open them up for a backstab. Like, why would you ever sneak crit? It doesn't really ever make up the damage. We've got some old stones over here, which is what again? Ruin Fragment. Uh, there is so much stuff that I don't even know what it does. 
Okay, yeah, this is where we want to be. Ooh, if we can unlock that thing super early, that would be great by the end of this episode. Which, gosh, I've been sitting here for so freaking long versing that tree sentinel. That was insane. Okay, when do we use... So we got a shield guy, which these guys are rough. Ooh, but they take good damage. How, do, how much damage do they block from the shield? How much magic damage do they block? Not much. Yeah, this guy doesn't have a magic blocking shield. He just has a physical attack blocking shield. The gate from Truin. Okay, this is insane, this place here. We're going to sneak up and do our charged R2. Woo! Yeah. Yeah, sneak attacks feel a little overpowered, but the thing is there are so many enemies now that, like I said, it just kind of speeds things up. This guy's going to be scary. Also, the horn blower. Oh, my God. Okay, this is time for the Glintstone arc, I think. Oh! Oh my god. Magic? No, 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 no. Don't ruin, don't ruin this for me. Don't ruin this for me. Oh, we're out. Magic is so overpowered. Holy crap. Okay, pay attention. Oh my god. Okay. This one guy over here is the scary guy. We're gonna do a glintstone arc on this shield, bro. Get him out of the way. We'll deal with you later, sir. I gotta, okay, Mr. Pointy. Yeah, spear guys are always rough in Souls games. Okay, focus up. Hey, cast my spell! Gotta be aware of who's behind me. I'm gonna heal up here because this guy's definitely gonna get me with a combo. I can feel it. Do something, sir. Make your move, vacant. I shall follow it up with nothing but the purest of magics and glintstone sorceries. You can kind of bait people out. Oh, the, sh the freaking spear guys with that charge attack. They always get me. I'm really bad at bursting spear dudes for whatever reason. Okay. We've got one spell left, and I don't think we have any other... Oh, that's bad. Okay. Yeah, we have no other flasks, right? So we're going to heal up again. Okay, we're going to switch over to our sword. Okay, and then we're going to dual wield it. And then we just got to kind of... No. I there's something when I fight spear guys that no these are these are excuses. Focus up and do the thing that must be done. I have no other resources at the moment. One, two, three. Learn his attack pattern. I am not used to the length of this sword. Go for an attack here. Whoa! 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 He just did an ability. The one little... Jeez. Oh, he's doing like a guard break or something. Like a parry. Yeah, there's like a bunch of weird new... Nice. No. The spear guys just really, really, really throw me off, man. Every time. Okay. What I'm trying to do is wait for him... Panic rolling, too. Oh, man. I, yeah. There's certain enemies that I'm sure everybody knows when you fight them. You get very scared. I probably should just go ham. <sighs> Why is it always... Again, anybody that watches my Twitch, the guys that I have trouble with, it always comes down to no flasks, no healing, one hit to death, and one hit to kill the guy. It's just like, the amount of times I've experienced that is utter insanity. Okay. Uh, I just want to kill those guys. We didn't, they're going to all reset here because we need to reset anyways. Oh my gosh, man. Oh, that arc though is beautiful. That, that, that spell is insane. Okay, this is what I wanted to activate. Yeah, I think I, it's weird. I guess this specific Lost Grace activates this cutscene and all of this. So, like, shout out to the people that missed this and just keep going. Because, like, what even happens? You just don't even get to talk to this lass here. Greetings, traveler from beyond the fog. I am Melina. I offer you an accord. It's the girl. It's the soul's waifu. There's always Have one. Have you heard of the finger maidens? They serve the two fingers 
offering guidance and aid to the tarnished. But you, I am afraid, are maidenless. Yeah, I know. I can play the role of maiden. Turning runes into strength to aid you in your search for the Elden Ring. You need only take me with you to the foot of the Erd Tree. So yeah, what happens if you say no? I wonder if there's like a maidenless playthrough where it's just like you don't get to level up. I accept, my lady. If you will, if you would uh, join me in my search for magical knowledge. Then summon me by it skipped the dialogue there. To turn runes into strength. Ah, another matter. I bequeath to you this ring. Thank you for your bequeath, my lady. It's of a wondrous fragrance. New spectral steed, whistle. Use it to traverse great distances. It will summon a spectral steed named Torrent. Torrent has chosen you. Treat him with respect. I will, my lady. Pastime, level up flasks, memorize spell sword chests. A lot of the some of the time you can talk to uh, her here, but I guess not now. Goodbye, my lady. I take my leave. And I think she just leaves. Horseback riding. So yeah, again, shout out to the people that don't ever rest at this thing and just keep going up to the castle there. Like, how, how does that even work? Okay, lots of stuff to take in. Didn't want to spend half the episode on one boss, but hey, we are where we are. Uh, we'll get a lot more progress in the next one. Uh, remember that leaving comments, liking the video, subscribing with a bell turned on all helps out this channel and series to grow. Thank you to those who do that. And massive thank you to my patrons as well. I will see you all in the next one. What was my... What was my, uh, yeah, we're gonna do a, a nice respectful bye. Bye-bye.